morning. It's uh, May the 2nd and it's uh, Thursday. I've just um, lit my candle in the um, little, I don't know what, what it is that you call it. It was here in the house when we came amongst all the falling rubble because the house didn't have a roof it all collapsed so the universe thought it a good idea to bring us here and give us this challenge it's um it's amazing how it happened how we arrived here uh, how our journey to france began several years before that when we was in the uk and i must tell you about that one day but this morning I was just, uh, every morning I have my shower and then I uh, normally come in here, not every morning, but normally come in here and I put uh, magnesium on my feet, on the soles of my feet, because that helps with uh, leg pains and stuff. And while I wait for that to be absorbed by my body, um, I use this time as a little bit of meditation uh, not always um, <laughs> I'm very naughty about meditating uh, but I try to keep a quietness in my in myself all, all day if I can um, yesterday May the 1st it seemed to start the month off all right um, I had a good good day I felt balanced most of the day um, even though my partner was um, having a difficult day with his work, he works on the computer. So we often work side by side, our computers are together. Um, so if he's having a bit of a rage about things, then um, it can, I can absorb some of that. That's the problem with being sensitive. Um, I absorb other people's um, emotions. Um, I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a dried up, not a dried up sponge, but I, I'm absorbent. Like if you had a dried sponge and you put it in water, it, it would inflate. Well, I don't actually inflate, I stay as I am. <laughs> but um, I do absorb people's emotions. And so when he's having a bit of a bother, then it tends to... Um, be absorbed by myself but I didn't yesterday I actually managed to stay balanced and was able to help him through his difficult day by staying balanced and happy in myself because if I get unbalanced and absorb his his negative energies um, then that makes me negative and then that makes him more negative and then that makes me more negative and so on and so forth so by the end of the day, we're in a right grot with each other. Yesterday, I stayed balanced. So as he had his um, problems with work, uh, I was able not to absorb it and stayed balanced and happy, which um, then sent back happiness and balance back to him. So he had actually not too bad a day, even though it was difficult. Um, Sometimes in the mornings, I, I think, what what do I need to be working on myself today? Um, and I have this, this is a pack of tarot cards. I don't use tarot cards um, like um, other people do. Um, again, this is something I'll speak about um, another time. Um, but... Uh, I just hold the pack and I say what what do I need to be aware of today and a number will come into my mind um, say 13 today so I'll count one three four five six seven eight twelve and thirteen so that's the 13th I keep an open mind I turn it over. <laughs> oh, that's fun.
funny. It's um, gift, gifts from God. That's what it says. Gifts from God. Um, bringing you a, bringing you gifts. Open your arms to receive. <laughs> oh, that's that's that. Thank you. I don't know quite what I'm supposed to um, get from that. Just um, just just gifts from God. Well, I have blessings. I have a nice place to live, and. Uh, I've had a good life so far, and uh, <laughs> that, that was uh, that, that was funny. Yes, from God. I think I, I I need to take that as okay. Thank you, and I will. Be, I'll be willing to receive what comes my way with thanks and not push it away because I don't feel myself worthy yeah that that'll do now I was working um, during my half an hour uh, sitting um, I um, craft this morning it was um, crochet and I was working on the uh, Amira um, top, uh, crochet top. I done the panels, and I'm working on the sides. Um, but I'm not too happy with the stitch. Um, you pick up stitches all the way down the side go over the sh shoulder with um, crochet uh, a chain and then go down the other side which is the back so that you get one continually long piece that seems a bit long I don't know when I go over my shoulder um, I want to try it properly over my shoulder because I don't want the top hanging down over my bosoms, do I? So, I don't know how far down the back that comes. Oh, perhaps it's not too bad. I can always tighten it. Um, so I wasn't so worried about that, but it's the worried about the stitch. You single, you pick up single crochets all the way along. It's done that. And then you do two chains and then two single crochets into the, the, the uh, um, picked up um, row of um, cro single crochet and then another two stitches and then another chain, another two stitches, another two chains all the way along. That was okay, that um, gives a nice edge. Then the next row was in those two double crochets you put two trebles and then two crochets um, two, two crochet two crochets two, uh, um, but that seems to be made, uh, that's, I did a few um, inches of that I thought that looks a little bit gappy um, that's look too, too, too big a hole I know the front's Got, is, is, is um, lacy so that's all right so I thought well, that those holes look a little bit too silly to me um, I'll have to wear something underneath this anyway um, probably a t-shirt and I'll use it just as a cover top you know just to um, pretty up the uh, t-shirt but um, so what I did instead of doing the two trebles in the two single crochets. I did two, two um, single crochets in the two chain gap. So I'm not putting it back in a lot of sense. But anyway, what I did was I did another row of the same as the first. Um, can you see? I don't think it's the light's not. It's, the world's waking up at the minute and the sun's not up. I don't think you can see properly but um, 
I don't know. Um, I think I might take this back. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that row. So what we do, we don't like anything. We just say, right, rip it back. So that's the, oh, let's see. That's the, the row, the first row of um, the sing, um, single crochet, two chains, single, two single crochet, two chains, two single crochet. So um, what I might try, in fact, um, uh, I'll try doing a, a, a sample piece of, um, maybe I'll try two trebles in that gap. Um, uh, one, two, two chains, and then, oh, can't get it. One, two trebles, two chains. One, two trebles. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think probably that's what I'll probably settle for because the pattern said for two trebles in the two trebles, which means that you've got a row of a hold out of it. And it didn't look very designery. <laughs> looked a bit um, older. Anyway, I'm going to try that um, and see where we come. It's still going to be lacy, but um, not quite as lacy as the uh, pattern was giving. So um, I'm going to finish with that at the moment because it's now an hour I've been sitting here and day must go on. I um, wanted to get out in the garden for a little bit this morning. Um, there's a humongous amount of um, green growing things, uh, weeds, um, uh, that need sorting out. Um, and uh, I was going to go to the market this morning to see if I could get some um, uh, seedlings, lettuce seedlings, to put in the raised beds. but. Um, uh, I'm waiting for a delivery of uh, uh, sandals from Birkenstock, so I better stay in for that. And um, hopefully I might go off to um, Knit and Natter group this afternoon. So um, finish off my tea and uh, get on with my day. This is called Keeping Fit. <laughs> or sharpening my scythe. Do you know, nowadays you have machinery to work on the um, cutting grass and um, doing keeping the garden straight work but I've cut a field with this scythe it was only a small field um, but it was big enough to keep me occupied um, for the um, for, for, several, for quite a lot of days and there was nothing as nice as scything that grass there was a swish and a swish and a swish as I went down the rows of um, of gra the grass I was cutting and there was a sense of ancientness of walking in the footsteps of ancestors which I found actually quite grounding 
as a psychic person I have to have a lot of grounding otherwise I get all fractured in my head it's because I'm so sensitive and to look after my general uh, well-being I need to be working on the land now there's work on the land and work on the land there's digging up with a fork and spade which actually quite frankly my knees would not like or there's working with the land in the best way you can so I leave the tilling of the land to my partner who's got a tractor See? Uh, so, <laughs> so I don't actually dig but I do have a few little flower beds I've started opening up in the courtyard here and um, I can manage to um, turn the soil enough to um, get some little plants planted um, and I, I can scythe this is the second blade I've had and the, the scythe, the whole scythe which is all of this it's like a I suppose it's a bit like the Grand Reaper, isn't it, when you think of it? But I've got my penny for, or my handmade gardening penny for, so I'm not really a Grand Reaper, am I? <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, I'm going to go out and start cutting some of the grass. That's growing to its full height at the moment. I won't be too too much um, because I'm going off to knit a natter this afternoon, I decided. See, we've had to make a big decision about um, the farm and um, it's a good decision but it's a difficult decision. So I'm off out now. I'm probably sharpening that in all the wrong way, but supposed to be scything. I know I've done a little bit but the sun came out and then it gets it got hot so I thought because of my age I ought to be careful and not tax myself too much so I thought I'd better sit down for a little bit and um what better than to carry on with the crochet top I started this morning. Now, I have actually had about um, 20 minutes sit down, which was longer than I originally anticipated. But you know how it is, you of you who craft, um, you know, you start a project and you think I just have five minutes but often that five minutes does go on a bit um, and I had a bit of a tangled lump of wool which I didn't put back onto the wall wind back on the wall I just gathered it all up off the floor where it was and now I've got bits of um, wool I don't know different coloured wool as well which isn't supposed to be there so and um, I don't really want to gather this up again and take it indoors so um, I think and I think you would agree that I need to carry on and finish off this um, excess um, wool but it's cotton until the ball the, <coughs> the ball starts winding um, properly Otherwise, I might get into a bit of a tangle and have to 
spend valuable time in untangling the tangle. I think you would understand this if you are a crocheter or a knitter. You know, sometimes one has to stay on a task even though perhaps one didn't ought to be on that task. So um, I'm going to carry on with this and then go and get lunch and I'm not going to cook a fangly dangly thing up today. Since we're in France we tend to have um, lunches between 12 and 2. It's the French way. Then you have a two hour siesta. <laughs> or something. And then um, you carry on into the evening, carry on working into the evening and then have an evening uh, meal. We don't have an evening meal, um, but our main meal is lunchtime. And uh, yesterday we had our own meat with um, uh, what I do, potatoes and carrots and other vegetables that were floating around in the kitchen. Um, cook them up, then put them into a fry pan to stir fry them and put some cheese on top and so it all melted into a mush. Um, and that was quite acceptable. We're not going to have that today. I think we'll have beans on toast because I'm going out this afternoon and I'm taking you with me. Um, just off to knit a natter. Um, very pretty drive but I can't uh, show it to you yet because I haven't got anything a camera which will sit on the dashboard and take um, footage as I drive um, anyway just off now in a bit of a rush um, uh, may I confess to spending a little bit too much time with my um, crochet top just a little bit more, just a little bit more I kept saying to myself do you know how it is so I'm off to knit a natter, it's very stormy so you don't know what to wear, I've still got thermals on um, but uh, it's, it's hot and then you strip off into summer gear and then you feel cold, so so um, I'm still in winter gear really. Anyway, I'm uh, because I'm sensitive and I'm going into a group of people who will have their um, each have their own energy fields. I need to ask a blessing from the universe for um, safe safe travel, but only in that um, I do not cause harm to any other driver on the road. Um, just just something you do, just ask a blessing for the journey. It's not far but it's still useful to ask a blessing, especially when you just rushed your dinner and <laughs> you feel like having a nap. Um, and to bless the group of people who will be there they're not always the same people um, but to keep a good harmony amongst the group and to ask for protection for myself that I do not absorb any um, negative energies that any one of them might be carrying um, because of maybe what's happening in their life that is making them upset so I ask a blessing on this this afternoon that there be tranquility amongst us all and harmony and peace. <sighs> Gosh, I could sit in the car for the rest of the afternoon because it feels jolly peaceful in here now. I've asked the blessing. That's the village I'm going to. I don't know whether you can see it very clearly because it's a bit misty today, but it's um, much high up and it's called Mondibat. So if I can get you a little closer view. Sorry about all the noise. <laughs> My car. We've got a van and it rattles and shakes itself like a good one. <laughs> Bit like me now with my bones. <laughs> I 
And here we are at the Foyer Rural. Rural. And here's the car park. And the postman. <laughs> no, it's one of our knitting friends. <laughs> group as you can see and I just thought I would do a little bit of sewing um, I did a little bit last night um, but I'm just going round the um, hems of the uh, um, terry toweling um, towels and tea towels that I cut up the other day um, I've already done one tea ta towel and one towel. Uh, the green is very thin, but I do think it'll fluff up once it's washed. But instead of um, doing a um, a patchwork piece of ornamentation along the towel, I've just done three rows of zigzags. Uh, That's what I don't think you can see it very clearly. I've just done a two rows of zigzag. Um, this towel has turned out long and thin, thinner than what I wanted. Um, but um, that's because I didn't estimate for the uh, doubling over of each side seam. So we're probably about two inches um, narrower. Doesn't matter because these greens as I say, it does feel a little bit thin, so if um, we don't use them as um, wiping ourselves down towels, they will do very nicely for my hair and for hand towels. I can always cut them in half and make two small hand towels, and that's what I did. Just a zigzag. I made a treacherous, treacherously... Um, bad job of the top and I'm not going to show you because it is a treacherously bad dog I've got these, I've mentioned it before but I've got two teeth here that are not are missing um, they were taken out uh, last year, end of last year because I had an abscess beneath beneath them so I had to go left a big gap myself I was alright with that gap I mean I'm after all of an age when one would expect these things to start happening and I was all right for false teeth but um, the dentist and my partner decided that I must have implants so at the moment I've got two screws in my jaw that was put in a couple of months ago and in about four or five weeks time I'm supposed to have teeth screwed onto them meanwhile uh, the way my mouth moves makes me lisp I think that's why I, I've got this kind of slurry tendency. Um, if the teeth go in and I still slur, then I'll have to um, start doing some face exercises or something to get my face muscles moving properly. Um, just one of life's little things that happens as one piles on the ears. Anyway, this is disgraceful, this top. Um, and all I can say is that um, I'm not going to show you, <laughs> it's well, uh, not very good at all, but the fabric kept on slipping away from me somehow. I was rushing it properly because I wanted to get them finished before the dark, the light dropped down here. If it got too dark in other words and I wanted to go to bed and that's uh, something you shouldn't do when you're crafting is rush because you'll only make mistakes and not be satisfied. But this end is all right. I was quite pleased with those three lines of zigzags because they kind of give it an, the town an ambience without being t overwhelming. Um, I don't think the green would handle having any fabric stitched onto it. The blue will because um, it's thicker. But um, anyway, I'm just going to have five minutes. <laughs> 
Yes, well, me and five minutes, we know that's going to go on a little bit. But um, uh, I didn't take you into Knit and Natter because um, I got a bit shy about introducing you to, you to, um, you to the, the, the people. Um, I didn't want to push in and say, oh, let me f photograph you. Let me put you on camera. Um, let me make some footage of you all. Um, I wish I did, but I'll pluck up courage maybe next week or the week after or sometime in the future. I'll, I'll take you in, in. But the lighting's not very good in the room we use either. So I don't think it would have come out um, very, very good. But it was a nice group. I don't know why, but halfway through, I felt myself go, oof. Um, uh, I'm, one of the uh, things to my sensitivity is that I do find it difficult when we have heavy cloud cover or when it gets storming. I think the humidity builds up. Um, and that happened this afternoon. And it just, it's as if my energies go out of the go out of the window as if um, a bath plug's been pulled and the water's emptying out. That's how I feel. I didn't feel tired exactly. I just felt like I had a heavy weight on me. Um, nothing I can do about it. Well, not that I know of. Um, so I just I carried on, just, just felt quiet. Um, so it's a good group, though. We had plenty of fun and laughter and it was um, good energy. Um, the drive home was was all right and when I returned I did say a thank you to the universe for safe deliverance of myself and our little van and also for the afternoon of shared enjoyment that um, me and one two three four five six seven eight eight of us enjoyed a lot of uh, female companionship um, it was it was good and it was lovely to see each, everybody's work and what they were doing with it anyway I'm going to carry on with um, sewing up the uh, towel I think I'll just time I will put myself on a timer it's ten past seven now and I think I will just do um, just a little bit I think um, then I'm going to go and look after my partner because he's got a bit of a job to do tomorrow which is very unpleasant for him so um, I'm going to go and uh, fuss around him and just just be there really probably getting in the way he probably doesn't want me to do that but I mean what I could do better is to just put my hands together and just send him send him my heart energy and wish him peace and He's out in the farm at the moment getting the sheep and the cows in for the night and the chickens. So just wishing him a blessing of peace. That's probably better really because it's more, it's more powerful than going and fussing around him. I might still do that a little bit but I think I'll sign off for the day now. Um, Just uh, sharing with you really how it is when you're um, a working psychic. And what I mean by working is not working for other people. Not saying to somebody, oh yes, I'll give you a reading. Um, which I have done in the past, which is what I regard as my professional time. But it's also about bringing that uh, energy into your own life. I remember once a lady who belonged to our spiritualist church in the UK as a long, long time ago um, saying that she would leave her spiritual self at the front door of her house, that she would use it if she was the leader of the local spiritualist church and she saw that as her job and she would... <laughs> She, 
bless her, she did her best. That's all I'm saying. She did her best. And um, but that that meant a lot to me when she said that you should leave it at the door because I don't think you should. I think if you if you are giving help and support to others which is quite easy to do then it's more important to give help and support to your family even if it's more difficult anyway saying signing off for today and see you soon bye <laughs>